Thank you, Megan. Now we have Miles Garrett joining us at the desk. Miles, you spent uh, some time with a different team, didn't you, this past weekend? <laughs> I did, Rachel. <laughs> uh, you know, if you go to any Elon sporting event, you'll probably see cheerleaders flipping on the sidelines. All the stunts, flips, and the tumbles are designed to keep the fans amped up. I went to a practice before game day to see what else goes into cheering for the Phoenix. As you walk into Alumni Gym to watch the Phoenix play, you'll see the Elon cheerleaders performing stunts and chanting to get the crowd going. What you probably don't see, though, is the practice that goes into all the cartwheels and jumps. Yeah, it, it is meticulous just because you really want to make sure that girls are being safe, because if they do fall, um, it's, it's, it's on us, it's our fault, it's a team sport, you need to work together, and so just kind of like taking that time to learn how to work together. But it's not just a sport for girls, seven guys are on the cheer team, and all of them, like myself, one, two. Have never even cheered before college. It, like being a male cheerleader, it's more than just being able how much you can lift. It's like being able to lift something and hold it above, like hold it for longer than just like one rep. It's like doing that and then continue to do that throughout two and a half hours. Grant was the only male cheerleader on the team his freshman year. Now there are seven men. Junior Rod Salazar also loves cheerleading, but says the chemistry he has with his teammates is something that can't be replaced. It's a lot of fun. That it's challenging. Um, it's also, you know, it's a good workout, um, and again, the bonding with your teammates is, is also something that I think attracts you to, um, to stay in the team. It's careful planning, but the energy from the crowd gives these cheerleaders all the reward they need from their sport. Like when there's an intense game, like you have the energy when you're like on the court performing, it's just like, you can just feel like you're just really energized. It's just, it's a great feeling. You know EU, you know all in! And the cheer season will end in mid-March with the basketball team. <laughs> Miles. That's a <laughs> lift, man. How many takes did it take? Oh, you? man. Uh, I wish I could say just one, but uh, <laughs> that, that took a couple takes. You know, there's a lot of technique to it. You know, you got to throw it. You got to really extend your wrist. You got to really put all the trust in your arm. And, you know, there's just a lot of steps to it. The coach has really kind of guided me through the process. But uh, it's very interesting, And but uh, <laughs> I wish it took just one take. That was a little hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so was, did it surprise you? How many, how much oh, behind the scenes? Very much work? so. It's very technique-based. There's, there's a lot to it. Wow. Well, thank, thank you, Miles. Looks so like you had a lot much. of fun. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, good lift. <laughs>